I think compassion towards humanity is also exemplified when we communicate with others who don't speak our maternal tongue. Oftentimes, when we speak to someone who shares our maternal tongue, it's easy to just listen to the words versus when we are conversating with someone who doesn't speak the same language as us, we often focus more on the meaning and we start to pick up on their hand gestures and their tones of voice, um, different inflections in their voice. So I think when we're speaking with someone who doesn't share our first language, we are still able to communicate effectively on a different level. We're able to peel down some layers of communication that we are not able to do when we're sharing the same language um, with our brother and sister. St. Paul commands us, just like Christ did, to love one another. And loving one another has no conditions, has no limits. They simply state, love one another. And I believe that loving um, gives birth to compassion. When I see children playing together without any toys or without any technology, I see their true souls come to light. I see them loving each other um, because I believe that's our, our first emotion is to love one another first. And I think when we look at children, it's a perfect example of the innocence in the world and the good in the world and the good in humanity because they don't, their primary means of going up to someone isn't negative, it's usually, can you play with me or can I play with you? And then in a matter of seconds, they become best friends. So as adults, we kind of tend to have our own boundaries. Whereas when we see children, they're already so vulnerable, but in an excited way. They're vulnerable to start sharing their lives with other children, uh, start share, sharing their space, and start sharing their time. And they don't realize it, but they are giving us a good example of loving other people without any conditions.